Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to my first match match report in about five years. And guys, it is a big one. Sunderland today have beaten Hull 1 now, that's hidden with light. And it's a massive three points, that's all I can say. And I mean like it was it was it was like, it was, like, it was a six pointer really. And obviously Sunderland haven't really done well in the six point obviously lost against Barnsley last time, um we drew against Birmingham. Um with Burton to be honest, but I don't know. But yeah guys, apart from that, I mean like today's team for Sunderland they look Quite different, well, not different, but it's like it looked look quite youthful, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, and we had root room goal, a back five of Jones, Brown, and O'Shea Clark, Sol And obviously, Jones came off, off for Matthews, obviously, injured. Then, Catamull, Robson, and Honeyman in midfield, and Madger and Asora up front. Uh, Hull there, McGregor in goal, a back four of Tamari, Dawson, Hector, and Aina. Midfield, two, a midfield of Myla, Larson, Torrell, Evandro, Bowen, and a front that had Campbell. And obviously, obviously, guys, as usual, there obviously was going to be like, like quite a few Sunderland players returning. Off, uh, quite, sorry, quite a few Hull players returning to Sunderland. Like, obviously, being from Sunderland players, as in Mile at last and Campbell. And to be honest, like, n n n none of them like really showed any threat. I would say, I'm probably like probably maybe like Larson at most. Yeah, I mean like, um, well, I mean like first like um t like ten minutes was like mostly like. Quite like I seem like more feels crap. Obviously, like, like in terms of like um, I'll say quality. These two like in championship, like, the, the, these two are, like the worst teams compared to like quality. I mean, like I, I said, like first couple of minutes was like more like hold, like trying to get an early goal, and obviously we tried to get an early goal and stuff. And it was, it was like an, quite end to end, you would say. And then and then came like um, the twentieth minute. Oh, it was a great through ball. I think it was some uh, Madger through the Soro took on. Uh, I'm gonna say Hector. And um, they put a lovely, but a lovely finish into the far corner from McGregor. And I tell you what, if Pele wouldn't prone that, I'm not even joking. Pele, I mean, like it's sort of like that was an unbelievable finish. I mean, like the ball from Manjo was was absolutely brilliant. Like a nice little through ball, and Manjo like, with, with, with a nice finish in the corner. And I was thinking, okay, we got the goal, but we're just gonna blown it. But we actually didn't. Like, again, we actually like continued to play really well in the first half. We defended well. Hull had one or two chances, but didn't. Really affect anything, and yeah, I'm not, I won half time one nil. I wasn't quite sure. I, I was hoping that would go for like maybe another one, but it probably wasn't going to be the case. Or because I knew Hull were going to come back and try and get a goal, and they went to Hull battered us in that second half. I'm not even kidding. Thank when like Rooter and our defence, they were absolutely tremendous today. Especially, but like Hull, they were absolutely fantastic. Really, I know Larson almost scored a screamer. I think it's like for I think it's like twenty five yards. something. He, he's hitting like just. Um, hit side netting and hold it pressing and pressing and pressing, but they just couldn't find that um, final goal. I'm actually looking at the stats now. Hull had four, it was quite, it was quite a good get t in terms of shots. Obviously, if we had 13, Hull had 14, but they, we, got, we were more clinical. And yeah, Hull, like, they just they put the, um, their bet passing, which is like, both these teams like, can't attack or defend or even pass the ball. They're that bad. But like, Hull, they would definitely. More like clinical lads up front as well, as well. Obviously, we had two offside, which isn't great. But actually, actually I remember one thing like, it was between them the 65th and 70th minute. The referee, I don't know what I don't know who, what he's called, I don't remember, but he had an absolute shocker. Like, I do, I do believe it's um, Joel Osoro. Um, he got booked for diving, and I'm pretty, um, which I'm which, which like everyone like, who has something around that, they're almost convinced it was a penalty. Like, I was convinced it was a penalty, but like, and the referee booked Osoro for diving, which I which don't know what happened there after watching the replay, obviously. Bam! That was a penalty because like it did look like that. A sword was clipped. But again, I was watching play, like watching replay because then like I was quite high up, so I didn't really see. But yeah, I'll tell you, we're probably more organised in Hull. I mean, like since I, I mean, like since I had Atom come in, like they haven't. I don't have. I don't have. I don't actually think they've won a game with, under Atkins. And I'm not, I'm not like I'm still beating Fulham like a week ago or two because obviously two being two nil up, like you're thinking that they won for win, but no, I, I knew Hull defence would be a massive issue for them today. And in some ways, it actually wasn't like they actually. Because again, they actually, cause again they, they actually did quite well defensively as well, but I don't know if I just thought we were much better. And I mean, like, Hull, I, I, don't, I don't know why, like, like um, their players are soft as hell. Like, I'm not even joking. I think it was um, Tamari. He got, he, he, he got hit in the face of the ball and he was literally, and he was literally rolling all over the bloody floor. Like, what the hell? And and and, and then like, the next minute, he's was, he was, like, he was trying to, like, um, shove, like, I think it was, like, probably Robson out the way. Like, I, I don't know what was going on for, like, I don't know what kind of tactics to use, but either the rough. All of the softest crap, I'm not even getting. But, but like, I'm at the end, like, I've done 95 minutes. 
and um, it was like last sack of the game. Knew a dicko who just came out sub. He should have scored me. Like that was an unbelievable save from Ruta. If you guys have seen it, but if you haven't, I would highly, highly recommend it because it was actually unbelievable save. Probably better than was one against Cardiff was last week. Like, like I tell you what, like if that was stealing goal, like it would have been one one. Because I I know like Ruta Ru- Ru- has been getting like quite a lot of criticism this season, but I I, don't, I wouldn't really say that um that he deserves it. Because like in my, my, my opinion, like he's he's actually done all right. But anyway, that's just, that's just my opinion. Obviously, there's loads of opinions out there. And obviously, 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 got the crucial one to win. We also in the relegation zone, but there's only a goal difference, and we are obviously a bit. And, and, and obviously, and we've got Birmingham next Wednesday. Obviously, not, obviously not this Wednesday, but Wednesday after. And I, I get, which is another six point. Obviously, twenty third, second against twenty third. But I don't, I don't know. What, I don't know what to expect that game. Obviously, the other game, like the bottom six is still tight. Like three points separates, like. And the bottom six is that tight. Like one weekend, I think Burton they were bottom and then end up being twenty first. Like that was like it was a couple times. Obviously, we were twenty fourth now. End up twenty first after one weekend results is that tight at the bottom of the championship. And I mean, like Birmingham, I don't think I don't know if we win that one or not. And then we've got Ipswich after that one, which we have, we we have to pay them. Cause we, we have to get them back because they actually tonked us early on the season. Big as I'm. I'm going to leave my, um, my ratings out of 10 for each player and then that'll be the end of the video. I'm going to start, I'll probably do some ones. First, Root, I'm going to give a 7, he was he was an exceptional goal today. Kept, kept, obviously kept the clean sheet. Um, Matthews, obviously I can't really can do anything. Jones, Matthews, I'll probably give a 6, he was average. This is Brown, and actually, this will be one of Brown's first games where, I, where he, I, he actually didn't do as much as what he normally does. M. O'Shea, again, I could give a 6, he did a solid job. Clark Sotler. A six, but like I'm not so sure about Cox sort of his touch isn't and his touch isn't great, and his passing could have been improved. Obviously, they'll probably give a seven. He was fantastic, a left back. Um, Catamol a seven. He was all right. Robson, I give him an eight. He was absolutely tremendous in that midfield. Really looks like a really tidy player. Passes were exceptional, and he was and a really good tackle on the ball as well. Made some unbelievable tackles. Honeyman, I guess seven as well. He was really really good. Madja, um, I probably gave him a six. A he, he he didn't do much but like him. He did do his bait up for another store. I'll probably give an ace as well. He obviously got that goal today, and apart from that, he was doing bits. He was obviously he was all over the place. And wasn't like wasn't the good way. I was like he was like all running after the ball. It's sort of like it look, looks like a really good player. Obviously, we have got we, and we've actually got. It looks like that because of some, some like exciting youth players coming through. And you know, I, I think because of all the injuries, like obviously these are like getting heads up and because of all these injuries that we've got. And yeah, a whole range. I'm, I'm, I don't really get exactly remember. Remember many of them. McGregor I'll probably give a six, and tomorrow I'll probably give a six as well. Like I'll probably give the whole defense some whole a six apart from, um, apart from Dawson. I'll probably give a seven. He was quite good. My leg of a seven. He was. He did quite well for Hull. Last in a six. He was average. Torrell probably a, probably a six. He didn't do much. The same with Angel. Bow one but a seven. He was really really good. Make some excellent excellent runs. Campbell a six. Didn't really make, make much of an attack and threat. And then substitution came on Jackson Irvine probably a six, Diggo a six, and Will Keane probably a five. And obviously, done, and obviously, obviously done the substitution, then the Gucci I'll probably give him a five as well because he, he came on quite late. So guys, that's gonna be the end of the match review. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, we said there's some match like button. Also subscribe if new because that'll make it feel good. And in the next episode, I think I'll switch and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.